What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another tip video. This time we are covering the map Hereford Base. This has been the hardest map to cover that I've done yet, however I still have a few cheeky spots to show you. So I hope they are useful to you all, I know they have been to me. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for more tip videos on the rest of the maps coming soon. So sit back, relax and let's get into it. Okay, so kicking things off, we have some Valkyrie camp spots that are so good and I use these all the time and they hardly ever get noticed. Just make sure you and your team don't scam with them. So, throw one cam high on the tree straight in front of you and then one high on the tree to the left of you. Make sure you don't get detected though as the enemy will know a Valk has thrown some cams out if you do and will look for them. Once the cams are up, just camp around the corner on cams and get ready to run out at a moment of opportunity. These cam spots are amazing for defending basement and are also good for defending the TV room and the main entrance. There is a gap in between the wall and stairs that you can use to look down into the channel that most people go down into to get into the basement. Just peek through this gap and you have an easy kill. I've gotten quite a few aces using this tactic and these cam spots so it's certainly tried and true. When defending TV room you can also throw a cam out here onto this tree which will help you get a better view of anyone standing by the window. You can combine this cam spot with my next tip to really have an advantage on the enemy. If you go into the master bedroom and blow a hole in the floor or use a shotgun, whichever you want, you can see down onto the window in TV room. It will take some practice to get the right placement, just try not to do it too far back like I did on my first hit here. Once that's done you can go prone and you have a nice tight angle that the enemy will not be expecting. It's a very common window for attackers to go through when the objective is in TV room, so you should pick up an easy kill or two. I'll show you what the view is from an attacker too. As you can see it will be very hard to see an enemy in that gap even if you were looking up there which most attackers never do anyway. This next spot is for defending dining room. You are pretty much guaranteed when defending dining that the walls to the outside are going to get breached if you're playing against a decent team with Thatcher and Habana or Thermite. If you run upstairs and shoot a hole in the floor close to the end of the blue map, you can see down onto the outside walls. This position will allow you to catch an enemy off guard and stop a plant from going down, which is vital for the win as there are so many angles from outside it's almost impossible to destroy the diffuser once the plant goes down. Just be careful up here though, as you are quite open, but as long as you barricade doorways you will be able to hear them long before they see you. This is another great spot for defending TV room. It has been used many times before, especially in Pro League, but still most people don't expect it. Go to the garage and make sure you reinforce the walls to the outside in garage so you don't get flanked. Try to get a bandit or a mute to put a gadget down to give you that extra level of protection. You can make these holes as big or small as you want to, it will take you a few tries to get the right spot, but once you do, it's so worth it. I'd recommend a friend of a shotgun to help you shoot out a couple more holes in these walls to give you another angle. You can go prone behind the car and wait till you see them vault in the window, then crouch or stand up and take care of business. Some of these old spots are great to use because people have started to stop expecting them. So that gives you a prime opportunity to remind them just how good they are. So here is a super cheeky spot that I like to use for defending armory. All you need to do is reinforce the east wall and then shoot out the space above it. When defending armory a lot of attackers like to enter through lockers and they can be hard to take out. But all you have to do now is throw C4 over the gap above the reinforced wall. And with enough practice you can get it to land right in the corner and take anyone out who is over there. Just bear in mind though that grenades can come through the gap you made if your C4 didn't kill them, so make sure you watch out for that. This is another spot for defending armory. One way a lot of attackers like to enter the basement is down the ladder in the maintenance area which can be really hard to defend. However, if you put a deployable shield as close to the vacuum cleaner in the corner as you can and then proceed to vault over the shield onto the vacuum, you can then vault onto the box in the corner and anchor here. This is a cheeky spot and you will probably catch an enemy off guard, but I'd recommend to move after the first kill as you will be easy to kill once the element of surprise is gone and your position has been given away. This last spot is also for defending armory. This time you want to place a deployable shield in between the shells and crates here like so. 
Then vault over the crates and walk across the shield onto the concrete slab. Then look at the right corner of the shells and vault when you get the prompt. Try not to vault too far to the left though, otherwise you will vault over the shelves and land on the floor. From this position you can see both entrances to the armory and you will catch the enemy off guard. Just make sure the hatch is reinforced and make sure to move if it gets breached. You can also shoot through the top right corner of the wall opposite and this will give you a nice angle onto the stairs that the enemy will not expect. I'd recommend an ACOG for this sightline though, as it's hard to see through the hole in the wall without it. I hope these tips and spots help you out guys and also that you are enjoying my content and this series of tips and spots. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe to stay tuned in for when the next tip video comes out for the next map.